Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, me and Scrapman are going to be having a dogfight, but not just any dogfight. We're actually going to be making a formation of planes using the opacity setting on the new power coupling. So what that means is we're going to be making the power couplings essentially invisible to make it seem that we're flying a squadron of planes at the same time. It's going to be a pretty good challenge. And I think the only limitations are that we have 50 blocks for each plane. They're going to be quite small, of course. And one weapon per plane. Isn't that right, Scrapman? Yep. All right. Well, I'm super excited to get building. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, guys. Let's get building our micro planes here. I'm not sure if I want to go towards more of a prop plane formation. Or like jets. I feel like Scrapman's definitely going to go for a jet. So I might rival him there and make my own mini jets. Now, I don't think these will be the most accurate or the most best looking jets that I've ever made. They're going to be quite small, of course. But the thing is today, I'm really going to try and get the functioning down. Because having planes follow other planes in a formation being pulled by the invisible power couplings... Is going to be quite interesting in the air, I imagine. Essentially, they're rope. We're pulling the planes together with ropes. Okay, let's get some speed in here. So we're going to use these blocks, of course. I love the space thrusters. Oh, Scrapman just told me to start with smart cannons. So I'm guessing that's the weapon we're going to be using. Honestly, 50 blocks is like nothing. I've already used 19 and I've barely got a shape down. Right, we have the uh, the elevators and the vertical stabilizer on now. Now we just need to make the wings. The question is, do I make all of the planes have their own separate functions? So for example, what I mean is, do I have all the planes do roll? Or do I just have the outside planes in the formation do the roll? Because if they're all connected by the ropes, doesn't it mean it'll affect the whole thing? Because it's essentially one build, right? This is actually just one build in disguise okay well this is the micro jet kind of done i just need to yeah there we go i was missing a block it looks pretty awesome for something so small it's 42 blocks i do need to add my weapon i think the weapon of course will just be under the uh under the plane like so but it is time to give this thing a test That's pretty smooth, actually. Like, that's fully controllable. I have my roll and pitch. There's no yaw on this thing, but I might add a cheeky gyro for some yaw controls. Honestly, I really like this thing. It's tiny, but it works. With the seven blocks I do have left, though, I think I'm just going to fill in the uh, holes in this. Uh, try and give it a little bit more protection. And there we go. Let's give that thing a save. So that's one plane down. The trick is now, how am I going to get this to connect to two other planes i've not really left any space for some um how do i say this power couplings <laughs> also if the other planes will be decoys they don't really need to have a seat okay so we have our decoy plane here so i've just replaced the seat with these blocks here it's still 50 blocks i'm gonna give this a separate save so now i can put them all in the build mode and i guess just figure out how i uh do this formation should i do them side by side like this or should I do the first jet more forward in the formation? This is going to be a lot of trial and error. Okay, so we need our power couplings. And that is, for some reason, being very glitchy. What the hell? Okay, they are all connected. Are they in the right formation? Is Why does this one look closer? No, I'm just seeing things. Yeah, that's right. Okay, all right. Let's spawn it in. Whoa. Okay, let's give it a test. Oh, oh my god. I don't think the planes are supposed to be doing that. This is me trying to roll. I mean, it's still kind of flyable. It's just very... How do I say this? Like, bizarre. Like, they're crashing into each other. So we definitely need more connections. I think we kind of need to set this up like a reverse pod racer. Yeah, so let's have these two be connected at the back. And then I guess I just need to figure out how to connect them to this plane. Right, I have some pistons in place. Now I just need to connect these to the front plane. And the idea is that I'm going to have these pistons retract and kind of make a triangle formation with the uh the couplings here 
think I'm gonna have to have this front plane a little higher so I can connect these to the underside of the wing. Ah, I'm gonna have to delete some blocks here because I don't want to go with that limit of 150. So goodbye to these shields. And let's connect it all together with uh, a pipe on each wing. All right, start position zero. No speed or input. Actually, no, it does need speed. Okay. Um, interesting. I need some extra connections, I think, on the back too. Because we don't want that to bend like that. Oh, this is a little tricky to pull off, guys. Let's just give it a test. It. D I don't feel like... Oh, no. Is this going to work? You know what? It's kind of working. Let me repair. I just wish they didn't tilt in that much. Maybe I need to mess with the stiffness. Oh, that's looking a lot better. I mean, a little bit better. The front plane is obviously more loose than the back two. Oh no, I'm getting caught. I'm getting caught on the other plane. All right, all of the power couplings. Okay, all of the power couplings now have zero stiffness. So let's see how it works. Oh god, oh no. It's not even... <laughs> no, don't crash. We still need some stiffness, it seems. Let's go for 50. Oh man, I don't know how I'm going to pull this off, guys. This is... This is a lot harder than it looks. I mean, actually, it just looks hard either way, so... Maybe having more rope length for the from the front plane? That looks a little better. Oh my god, that actually looks loads better. It's just the... Uh, how do I stop those planes from doing that? Oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. That isn't too bad. I mean, those planes are tilted a little bit. Oh, that does make the firing a bit loopy. Look at that. But I mean, it's a formation and they're not going loopy. They're not like uh, flipping over each other. We're onto something here, guys. We're onto something. Yeah, I think this is the one, guys. Just having the, uh, the front plane a little further out makes it work really well, to be honest. My only worry is that I might end up... Yeah, there we go. Shooting the front plane. And that's not gonna be... Oh god, I just shot my own coupling off. Oh no. I'm going to have to space out these weapons. So these ones might have to be on the edges of the wings on the outside. Let's see if that makes things any better. Oh, it's close. It's risky. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna be using servos here to kind of make the weapon still point away from the front plane. I don't think there's any other way to make this any better without messing things up. Because right now, the formation flies pretty well. And this is a dogfight, right? So we need to be functional. So let's have the angle on these be, let's say 10. Hold the position and they'll activate when I shoot. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. There's quite a bit of clearance. Let's take off. Give this thing a test. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Now that I can dogfight with. I think I just want to make the front plane a little bit more controllable than the back two. Because all of the control surfaces are working. But if I just make the front lead plane have more power, it's definitely going to allow me to uh, be a little bit more maneuverable. Because we are dragging two planes behind us. And now we need to make sure our power couplings are invisible. So how we do that is just go into the settings here, configuration, hide part one, hide part two, and then beam opacity. And there we have it. The beams are completely invisible and it will give the illusion that I'm being flown in a formation. I'm in a squadron look. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, functions really well. I think all I need to do now is give this thing a paint job. So in the meantime, let's go see what Scrapman built. All right, Scrapman, have you finished your planes? Um, yes, I have. It was a bit of a process to figure out how to overcome the complications of the power couplers. How'd that go for you? Yeah, I pretty much ran into uh, a few issues that are like folding, for example. The planes were folded over. Yep, so. <laughs> yep I had that too. I'm curious how you overcame that. Uh, you want to go first or you want me to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll go first. So here right, let's are see it. mine. Oh. Yeah, so I got three small jets. Actually, the paint theme here is the uh, British Red Arrows flight team. So, uh, yeah, I nice. thought it looked pretty similar, but uh, I'll show you how they function. So the planes at the back do get pulled in the nose a little bit. 
like uh, it's not a perfect formation and to counteract uh -huh. that with the weaponry i've got some servos that kind of point outwards for the back two mm. but yeah it flies very good um do you want to see the actual yeah. connections itself oh my goodness wait a yeah, minute yeah so i've got some pistons um giving it a little bit of tension capacity so those are how oh, it's connected interesting it's like a reverse pod racer yeah i see that all right that's pretty cool uh it's actually we had similar thoughts not exactly the same though so okay. oh, this is not my painted version all right there we go Ooh, there's my painted nice. version um and yeah let me show you my power coupling as well there we are Oh. So I've also got pistons on the back ones to pull them in and uh, stabilize them. So we kind of had a similar strategy there. Oh, you're which using is hinges interesting. To, to Yeah, I use bend. hinges to oh, angle them. Wow. Um, but yeah, in the back ones, they have pistons connecting them, as you can see here in the build mode. Yeah. Yeah, so that's interesting that we both kind of came up with a similar solution. But here, let me put these back on zero. And you can see how mine flies as well. Um, so there we go. We'll take off. Oh, boy. Oh, that's there a pretty go. good formation. Uh, oh, yeah, wow. I have a decent amount of controllability. And the only thing, uh, one of the, so I don't know how you did your controls, but my right plane is my right aileron, and my left plane is my left aileron, and my front plane is only pitch. Oh, okay. Yeah, I found it easier for them to work together like that rather than having them all have their own independent controls. See, but, uh, I yeah, went so that's how I opposite. Did mine. <laughs> with uh with mine so they all have their independent controls <laughs> uh, okay yeah it might be a leftover thing when i was trying to solve the folding issue i ended up going with uh switching all the controls and it made it better but then i went with the triangle power coupling and it improved things even further and i might not have needed to have the controls be separate anymore but uh it'll be interesting that means i have like no redundancy if one of my planes gets taken out that's like one control surface essentially <laughs> <laughs> yeah but we'll see how it goes <clears throat> okay let's get in the air let's test this out Ooh. all right all right ready when you are okay i'll give us a countdown here we go three two one let's do this all right this does really look like we're having formation fleet yeah this is so cool <laughs> out of my own squadron yep there we go oh boy oh Ooh. Ooh, i got some hits so one of the things i did as well is my my side planes, I reduced the aim scale to 50%, so I had less of a risk of shooting myself, but that means I don't lock on quite as easy. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, close. Oh, this is going to be... I mean, one one good shot could potentially destroy the whole system, so I don't know if it's going to last long or not. Yeah, <laughs> it I feel is like kind of hard to get a good shot. breaking is going to be devastating. Yep, <laughs> yep. The folding is going to start happening. Oh... Uh -oh. Oh no, there goes not okay. well there goes nothing but almost something got really damaged. The multiplayer on this, like your planes are flying, they're zipping all over the place. For me, you're uh, you're all good for me on my screen. Oh really? Yeah, it looks awesome. Ooh. When you're close it's fine, but when you're far away your plane starts zipping around. Oh, oh, oh boy, that something was a bad smoking. Pass for me. I got some damage. Yeah, on I got my a lot plane. smoking on me right now. Come on, get that lock! Oh, that was a good lock. I don't know if I did much damage, though. I had such a good lock, though. Uh oh I feel like oh, the dang, center of mass one. will be co completely different with this as well. Because Yeah, it's... definitely. It's like in between all the planes. Oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> that was close. And some of my tails are about to fall off. Two of my tails are glowing. Oh. Whoa. Oh, something fell off. Oh, I see a piece flying down. Yeah, that's one of my uh, ailerons on... One of my back oh, boy. Come on. Oh, that was terrible controlling. Ooh. Oh, man. I'm about to lose something. There's a lot of smoke coming off you. Yep. I am very glowing. Uh oh. Oh, I'm shooting myself. Uh oh. Center of mass did good there. Oh, come on. Ooh. Come on. Let's try to get my nose. Oh, get something. On you. Oh, it's going straight oh, in between yeah. I'm me. I'm going right in between. I saw like the, I just saw all the bullets going right in the center of everything. Ooh. Oh, get something. Okay, my front plane's not looking too good. Oh, oh. dang, all <laughs> my bullets are going right in between everything. Oh my, this is, yeah, we definitely have like similar maneuverability. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, come on, take something off. The thing, in, uh, the thing is, with these blocks being invisible too, I don't think we can see the damage on them. Oh, yeah, that's true. If one of our power couplers is damaged, we will... Actually, can you even see the damage on them if they were glowing? I don't know what damage on a already... Oh, no. Oh. There goes the tail on my front plane. Fortunately, uh oh, I have the controls built into the wings and the tail for each plane. Okay. So you have to take off both. You have to take off all their wings for them to lose their functionality. Oh, I've shot my own tail off on the front plane. Uh oh. Uh oh, boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Did you supply? lose a power coupling? No? No. Uh oh. Oh, no. I've. M oh. <laughs> no. You seem to be having some trouble. Yeah. Oh, I'm down. wow. You took yourself out. I did. Ah, okay. oh, accidentally. It seems like if I lose that tail, like there's no lift being produced. Like produced That's on the back. That's surprising, actually. Oh, oh, oh. I'm trying oh. to come in for a landing here. Formation landing. Ooh, there we go. Oh, look, look at that. this plane here. <laughs> yeah, that plane was like about to lose everything. This one lost his tail. Oh, so you lost That's your tail it. and you was fine? Yeah, yep. So my yeah. ailerons in the front here, these are also giving pitch. Here, actually, oh. I'll repair real quick. You can actually see my control services. So this is my pitch. And then, oh, so it comes okay. from it comes from the front and the back of that plane. And then this is my roll. So the right plane, all of the wings are for roll. And the left plane, all of the wings are for roll. That's actually genius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job with that. So yeah, you do have to take out quite a few wings for them to become non-functional. But if you take out a whole plane, then I'm definitely done. All, All right. right. Well, that was uh, one point. Do we want to change weapons or do we want to keep the same weapon? I feel like we can upgrade the weapons. Okay, let's upgrade. I don't know what to do with the aim scale of the minigun because I know it already has less of an aim scale. I'm going to keep my uh, scale on default, I think. Yeah, I might actually do that too. I feel like getting some of those shots on you is more valuable than if I accidentally shoot myself. But just in case, I'm going to get in one of my side seats instead of the front seat in case I shoot the front seat off. <laughs> yeah, so for my back two planes are actually fake seats. They're uh, fake cockpits. Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't do that. I didn't think about that. All right. We have our mini guns installed. Oh, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're in the air. Oh, yeah. I feel way more wobbly. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, that didn't make quite a difference, actually. Wow, that made a big difference in my controllability. There's going to be a lot of recoil, too. Yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, battle. Oh, my goodness. My pitch is so different now. Oh, oh no, my roll. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so hard to control. <laughs> oh, oh, what? I'm being oh. shredded. I got lucky. I got so lucky to just, like, flop into a good aiming position. I feel so floppy now. You feel yeah, floppy I'm, compared I'm, to before? I'm having control issues, actually. It's wanting to do its own thing now. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is so weird that the miniguns made that big of a difference. Maybe there's uh, probably the weight, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I guess because we're okay. so small in the first place, it's just a lot of, it's a big difference. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, there we go. It took something off. I don't know what that was. Seems to be functioning oh, fine, oh, though. Oh, that's boy. some good hits. Yes. Okay. Come on, turn, 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 turn. On, pitch. Go up. Go up. Oh, oh God. I feel like you're hitting the power couplings. Here we go. Yes. No. This is good. Oh. Come on. Oh, I didn't get a good lock. Oh, it's so hard to get a good lock. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh I can see your missed. stuff going right between my back planes. Yeah, I have way worse pitch now. It's my roll that's uh, being quite annoying. It's like overdoing it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah my pitch is under underdoing it kind of now. <laughs> this is close. It's actually, when I when I shoot, it changes my pitch too. Oh man, yeah, I'm having real a lot of trouble turning sharp enough to get a lock. Oh, uh -oh. come on, keep that lock. No, I lost it. There we go. Oh, there was something. that's a whole wing. Is that enough? Uh, I think I'm good. It's one of the uh, the inner wings on the back plane. It's really hard to get a good lock, but sometimes it just locks in. Oh! oh <laughs> collision! No! <laughs> Did I take off a wing too? You took off the whole tail on that plane. I think you took out the couplings. Oh, wow. Yeah! Oh, the... I, what don't... Uh-oh. <laughs> the middle coupling on the back too is gone. Uh-oh. That's so now they're good. just being dragged along. Oh, okay. That took I mean, out the nose functional. of one of my planes. 
The plane that I'm in. I took out the nose of the plane that I'm in. I almost lost my cockpit. Uh oh. We're folding now. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, your controllability is going to be a lot different now, isn't it? Yeah. Looks oh, like no. you're just dragging the planes behind <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, <now>. pretty much. <laughs> oh. Oh, they're. Are they getting twisted up? Yeah, they're twisting. <laughs> oh my. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Are you going to be able to get out of that? I'm trying as hard as I can. Okay, we're good. I think. Still got some shots on Oh my goodness, you're so hard to read. Oh like, man. I just see everything flopping everywhere. Are they are they um hurting each other by colliding? Yeah, that's what's happening. Oh, uh, what, oh I lost my the goodness. vertical stabilizer on both of them. If both of them disconnect, you'll probably be a lot better off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you could just detach them. Oh, I think this is it. Oh, I just, no. There's not a much oh, momentum. Oh, oh. oh man. Damn. Wow. As soon as I lost that oh, uh, oh. couple. And now I'm in the water too. <laughs> wow, that was uh yeah, that was definitely rough, I could see. Alright, I do not like these mini guns. Yes. Should I move to blasters? I think blasters we should. are even heavier. Are oh they? no, this is gonna be bad. They so are they're like 7. way heavier. 5. Yeah. Oh why? Almost double. This is okay. gonna be this might not be any better. I mean it doesn't feel too different. I definitely feel less maneuverable, kinda. I feel like it just fits better though. Maybe that's what it is. This it, this feels better than the miniguns to me still. Yeah, I definitely feel the weight this time around, but uh, yeah, no, this is definitely better. All right, ready when you are. Count us in. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's fight. All right. Yeah, this is way easier. Ooh, oh, boy. I got some good hits. Oh, you did too. All right. Oh, no, I'm in the wrong plane. Uh oh, I wanted to be in one of my side planes. Oh, if that front cockpit gets taken out, I'm done. My... Oh. oh, that was a decent lock. <laughs> just watched one of your planes was just like rubber banding in front and behind you. <laughs> oh my! Oh, you took, oh, I took something off. You still I like, have I think this is my pieces? favorite weapon so far. I think so. Yeah, one nice. of my wings is glowing and my front gun is glowing as well. Oh come on, get oh, that boy. lock. Oh. 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 Okay. Mm. Oh, I went right in between your back planes. The formation flying is so cool. Oh, I took yeah. something off. You did. I'm not doing too well here. This is difficult. Ah, it's just keeping like locked onto you is the hard thing. Ooh. Oop. Oh no, that's one of my vertical stabilizers. That's not good. And turn. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Ooh, I'm glowing. Definitely glowing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Oh, it's not locking. <laughs> you're like just out of my range of locking. Oh, except for now. Now you're in. Oh, no. That's a oh, coupling. I think I took out a power coupler. Yeah, that's a coupling. Oh, no. They're twisted. Come on, plane. Don't do this. How badly I just want to detach them. Oh, it them. looks like you're going down. I think <laughs> it I'm going looks like down. you're struggling so oh, hard. Oh, they're clanking into each other. Oh, no. Oh, my this goodness. Oh, uh, this is a rip. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. You're in a death spiral. <laughs> A three-plane death spiral. Oh, man. Of course I can. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. It feels so epic coming in for a three-plane landing. I think you had a bit oh, of an edge on me. my gun is on fire. <laughs> oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> I think yours were a little bit closer in formation. I think that would kind of help you uh, a lot. As, uh, being a little bit Yeah, tighter. I think I have more of a... Tr I think I have more of a like a a regular triangle where yours mm. is a little bit more narrow. So yeah. your back planes are closer together. Well, I think we should do a bonus round in the winning plane here. All right, let's do it. What weapons do you want to use? You want to try rockets for the bonus round? Oh yeah, let's try rockets. Yeah. We see All right. It. All right. I have my rockets. I'm in your All right. uh, your bonus vehicle here. All right, this one, like the rockets could take off a whole chunk of power couplers instantly. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, battle. Oh, oh, your pitch is very good. Yeah, this is a, the rockets feel decent. Oh, oh. my goodness. That's terrifying. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Lock. Not a single lock, lock for me. Lock is not man. easy. Ooh. Oh, you hit me. Uh -oh. I don't know what that means for you. That doesn't look good. Oh, no, I'm already in a spiral. Can I? Oh, wow. I never had that much damage on an outside plane. Oh, no. <laughs> That's an instant oh, kill. Oh, wow. 
You lose one wing, it seems you're going down. On the, wow. On this. You got so close to taking off those wings during our battles too. That like you were that close to uh, just taking me out. You want to do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. All right. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Rematch. Oh, no, I lost oh, the man. lock. Yeah, it's tough to stay locked on enough for the, uh, the reticles Ooh, to get a good that aim. Was close. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, no way. Did I go through you? It looked like I didn't have I didn't have the good angle to really see it, but yeah, that looked sketchy. That looked like it was close. Oh, oh no way! That I, was a good one. Yeah, there's no way I can bring this back. If wow! This, uh... It looks like there's one good plane, but uh, <laughs> it's not. You're not controlling it, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the wrong seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this actually, uh, I, I didn't, in the middle of the build process, I was like, I don't know how doable this is going to be, but it actually turned out to be a pretty legit, pretty legit kind of concept for a battle. All right, so yeah, I'm expecting to see a lot of this with the uh, power couplers on the workshop with invisible connections doing some <laughs> yeah. crazy things. Well, guys, I had a lot of fun messing around with the new power couplings today, um, making them invisible. Let us know what else we can do with invisible power couplings. Uh, definitely leave your suggestion down below. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.